Um, about 12.42, I received a text message from my friend. I was dead asleep, earplugs in, and I heard the text message because I always hear my alarm. And she said, um, you need to take cover immediately. The sirens are going off in town. So for some reason, I grabbed my phone, and I had about three seconds to get to a closet. It's actually... And the closet that you see right there is the door right there. Um, and I had to pull the closet door to me. And then the um, you could hear the noise. that Everybody says it sounds like a, a train, but it, it's not the noise I heard. It was really loud. It was just really loud. And I heard a loud pop. And it was all of the windows in my bedroom had just blown out or blown in, whichever way they were going. And you could feel the tornado moving from the back of my house to where I was and it ripped the ceiling off. I never heard the tree fall or I mean I probably heard it but I didn't know it was a tree fall and as the tornado went past me it took this part of my house off so I saw I saw the tornado take the rest of my house it was all in about 10 seconds and that was about it like I didn't I didn't know what to do. I was by myself. But I did have my cell phone with me, but it was pouring rain. So I just started dialing every last contact I had. And, of course, it's all the people, family members. And I, during that 10-minute lapse, I had called my father. And I just told him I loved him and that I was going to die. Because I didn't think I was going to make it. I'm alive and well, not a scratch on me. I don't understand. <laughs> God reached down and touched me and he said, I'm not done yet. You know, like, I don't know what else to say. After, oh, after it went, you could hear all the lightning and thunder class. Like, I didn't know if another tornado was going to come. So I didn't know whether to get out of that little hole that I was in. But then when I looked out and I saw I had no house left, I thought, where am I going to go? Like, what would I do? So I just said, I had to go because I knew there was a ditch there. If I needed to get in a ditch or in a low place, I just... I did what I thought I needed to do, get out of the area.